Good evening, I'm Alicia Malone, and I know I'm not who you usually see when you tune into TCM on a Saturday night, but tonight is the first night in what we're calling Fireside Favourites with the Hosts. The wonderful folks in our programming department have kindly let us host choose two of our favourite films to show you, a different host every Saturday night. These are not really holiday films, more movies that we think are perfect to curl up and watch by the fireside. My first film choice is Leave Her to Heaven, premiering in 1945 and released in 1946, because who doesn't want to get cozy and watch a murderous Jean Tierney? She plays Ellen Berendt, a woman who meets a charming writer named Richard Harland, played by Cornell Wilde, and following her beloved father's death, becomes obsessed with him. Even, or especially after they get married, she doesn't want anyone to get between her and her husband. That story came from a novel by Ben Ames Williams with the adapted script written by Joe Swirling and directed by John Stahl for 20th Century Fox. And whether you count this as film noir in technicolor or just a solid melodrama, there's much to love about Leave Her to Heaven. Firstly, Jean Tierney. He uses her beautiful face to chilling effect. Ellen is also an interesting female character going against the maternal, loving instincts women in the movies of the 1940s and 50s were often shown to possess. And John Stahl directed Tierney to act like a man for a scene where Ellen seduces Richard. I want you to be like a serpent, he told her. Then there are Tierney's costumes by Kane Nelson. I want one of each, please. And finally, there's the eye-popping saturation of the beautiful Technicolor photography by Leon Shamroy. The bright colors make the film seem dreamlike, and it's disconcerting to watch dark moments played out in full daylight. I'm looking forward to this. Get yourselves comfy and enjoy Leave Her to Heaven. Jean Tierney said director John Stahl had such confidence in her while making Leave Her to Heaven that she blossomed under his approval. Tierney had read the original novel and knew that her home studio of 20th Century Fox had bought the rights. She had coveted the role of Ellen, which she likened to the sort of part that Betty Davis might play. Tierney was thrilled when Daryl Zanuck told her the role was hers. And though the film was not always easy to make and Tierney had personal problems of her own, she was proud of how she had brought this difficult character to the screen. Once again, she proved that she was more than just a pretty face, and Hollywood responded, with Tierney receiving an Oscar nomination for Best Actress and the movie becoming a box office hit. And there's more determined women coming your way on TCM. My next choice for our fireside favourites with the hosts stars Lucille Ball with Maureen O'Hara and was directed by Dorothy Ausner.